Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to show you some ukulele prints I did. I got a request from a friend to print out a ukulele and, and send him and I decided to print out one for my own and one for testing. So I want to show you my results. So this ukulele model is found on Thingiverse called Playable Ukulele, printable without supports and it's there by user Solsti and I will put a link in the video description to the model and this model comes in a two part uh, print option or a four part print option depending on your print size and I decided to print out both versions of it and here I have the four part version, this one is, is printed out in, in Repcord PLA and and the green and the red and the and the blue is a record PLA and this is AIO Robotics PLA and the orange really like this orange color and I want to just show you how the four part is and there are some guides here to align the parts together and also on the neck here is a part where you can line this together and, and glue it and I still have to glue it together and I'll probably use some two-part epoxy to glue these parts together and here's the part where you can put in the strings and I think you have to drill out the parts to get the strings going through and here on the neck there's holes for the hardware and you have to source the hardware the, the website doesn't link to a specific hardware but uh, what I've seen, people are using just normal uh, guitar hardware, so it's probably some standard. I'm not familiar with the instruments, so I'm not sure. <laughs> and I don't have a link to the hardware, and uh, I really have to find the right hardware to assemble this and see how it works. I have no idea how to play a ukulele, but I want to try this out. As I got this request from a friend to, to print out this part for him and he's gonna source the hardware and, and send me a copy of the hardware so I can as assemble this. And I know a guy at work that can play a ukulele so I'll probably bring this to work and give it a go and record a short audio sample. I want to know how, how it sounds. But here's the two part piece and this one is printed in printed solid everyday PLA, it's a like normal PLA and it prints out really nice and it's easy to print and this prints out in one go on the CR10 and, and this was a second print and in the printing instructions they state that you should print with 50% infill and 4 uh, parameters and this one was just printed with 2 parameters and, and 20% infill or 10% infill, so I'm not sure if this one is strong enough to hold uh, hold the, the strings in tension, but there's some play here in the part and, and I guess you have to glue this together before you set the strings on and, and have everything set up, but this came out really nice and I didn't have any issues in regard of printing. I just printed on my CR10 at a really slow pace, like 20 millimeters per second to get a stable print. But this was like a test print <laughs> to see how, how it would go. Um, then I printed the, the production unit, so to speak. This is the one that is going out to a friend. Um, this is printed in filamentum uh, extra fill PLA that's called Iceland Blue and it's one of my favorites color it's like semi-transparent you can you can somewhat see through it um, this is printed by the specs uh, by having four parameters and 50% and infill so like the, the neck piece is really solid and, and heavy and it's even bent in uh, this one is, is mostly solid and it's just uh, uh, has some, you can see inside there's some uh, rails to give it more stability and, and strength. It, it, it has some nice sound to it, <laughs> and maybe it's too loud for the someone on the mic. It has, has a nice sound, sound to it, 
and I look forward to to see see and play this when we can source the right hardware. So this is uh, the filamentum one, and it looks really nice, and it's amazing, amazing print. And I was printing really slow on a CR10. And I didn't want to get vibration in the print, and that worked out really nice. So I could get a good print quality. Uh, and I printed with supports here in the in the bottom side because it's a really steep overhang. And the bottom side is also really smooth. There's a maybe small small amount of like drooping with one or two strands here, but nothing to worry about. Uh, this was really really nice, and I think this has a unique look to it, and I look forward to to see it in its final form when you can play it. But I'm gonna get the hardware for this one and glue this together. I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put hardware in this four-part piece, but I'll put hardware in this one and, and see if the the print strength is good enough for this test print. And if not, I might just reprint it with the recommended settings to get the strength. I think with the strings uh, tightened, you really have to get a solid, solid uh, part to have it tighten up. But this seems to be pretty stable, the, the base itself. It's just the neck that I worry about. And I can bend it a little bit with my hands. So that's maybe something I have to take care of. But uh, yeah, I definitely have to drill out the holes for the strings. Here I had some, because um, I don't see through the holes. So you have to drill out the holes maybe without two or three millimeters drill before you attach the strings. Um, otherwise it's, it's pretty basic uh, assembly, I think. You can put the strings in on the hardware at this end and tighten everything up. But this will be it for this video. It's just a showcase of this awesome print I did <laughs> for a friend. Uh, this is gonna be sent to the States to a friend of mine. Um, he was really excited to have, a, have it printed in Icelandic blue and being shipped from Iceland. <laughs> so that's good, fun project. Um, he might reveal uh, reveal himself when he has the hardware <laughs> installed and maybe put up uh, pictures or, or a short video on, on Twitter. But well, we'll see how that goes. But uh, for now, this will be it for this video. I thank you for watching. And if you like this video, let me know in the comments or a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not. So for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.